up, everybody. You know what time it is. And today we're talking vampires. Let's, Let's get, get into this. this. All right, all right, all right. What's Alrighty. up? What's up, horror fam? How are we doing out there? And welcome to another edition of the Horror Chronicles podcast. Another one. That's right, guys. And today we're shooting number three. Two. Two. Thank you. <laughs> Ryan can't count. But hey, we're shooting right. number two of our trilogy, guys. They call it. Who number does two. number two work Who for? Who does number two work for? My God, boy, what did you eat? You show that turd who's boss. <laughs> Uh, oh, sorry. Point sorry. tonight. You know how it is, guys. You know how we work. Yeah, um, yeah you know we're shooting we number two of our trilogy, and tonight we're doing vampires, as you heard. Uh, we had our werewolf episode. If you guys haven't checked that out yet, check out last week's episode about it. Um, and we're going to do vampires tonight, and then our third trilogy of it is going to be kind of a connection between the two. We're connecting. We're connecting, guys. We're, we're building bridges. Um, we're networking. Networking. Uh, so yeah, guys, um, we're going to jump into this. I want to start off kind of like I did with the werewolves. I want to do okay. a little brief, do it, little do it. definition of what a vampire is. If you don't already know, Get give it. it to us. So a vampire is a corpse supposed to leave its grave at night to drink the blood of the living <laughs> <laughs> by biting the neck with long pointed canine teeth. Right. Hmm. And also, I, th- I, had to, I had to add this in because this is actually part of it. Uh, this okay. was it. This is out of the sm- something Webster Dictionary. Okay, there's two names now. Miriam. Miriam. There yes. you go. <laughs> Check this out. Also, definition of vampire. A woman who exploits and ruins her lover. <laughs> that would be me. Right here, definition. That's a psycho. I was, I was like, I was like Brittany, dude. I'm coming for you. You're going to die. I was like, dude, that is... Funny as hell. <laughs> um, that is a great definition, but I'm going to put a butt in there. I'm going to put my butt in there. Oh, Ooh, Nash, buddy. I want to see this. So, <laughs> a vampire, when they truly started, um, you know, we're talking way back. Uh, in the day. It was feeds on vital force of there another is a lot human of force being. There. Because it wasn't just blood. Oh well, the, you, the modern definition of vampires is the female. Well, of well, blood actual and stuff. Yeah. Well, from what I read, I mean, we're kind of jumping ahead on. Th- maybe not. We, we are. We're we, no, we're we're not jumping ahead. We're just exactly. Uh, we're just we having just a conversation. Tell. So we always do. So basically, there are different types of vampires. There are. Oh, there, there are. are. There have been different types for many, many years. Mm-hmm. Um, different. Cultures. Like you were saying, some feed off the life source. Yes. Your Whatever you want to say it is, what is it? Your uh, your essence, your aura, your essence. Some of them feed off of that. Yeah. I mean, there's, you know, they say there's vampires who aren't the, that have never even been human. They right. they're a de- right. demonic entity right. that uh, was brought upon us. Um, um, there are there are some called psychic vampires that yeah. actually feed off your emotions. Yes. And then there's the women ones who feed off your bank account. Mm-hmm. And That's usually <laughs> what they are. But, but anyway. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so there's a, there's many different types. We're going to talk about it. I mean, we yeah, we're going to talk, talk about, about all of them. We we there's so much information out there. Yeah, there's a ton, guys. And vampires for me is a huge, huge, very huge um, part of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's huge. <laughs> anyway, it's a it's a big part of my life and part of the reason why I like doing this and doing yeah. what I do. Um, it made him the man he is today. It made me the little boy that I am today. <laughs> Got some little man syndrome. Going yeah, on you know, Napoleon syndrome. Yeah. Uh, no, it's you know we're going to talk about it a little bit movies and stuff like that but we'll get into that later probably more into on our trilogy episode right um but it's just the main keepsake of my life that kind of brought me into uh the horror genre really um we've talked about it many 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 times on here about me being a lost boy (laughs) a frog brother i'm a frog brother brother from way you back. know, back in the day, but yeah. So we're gonna get into some history, some facts, some, some fiction, kind of origin. Uh, yeah, same there, thing with werewolves. There's, just there's some weird stuff going on out there. A lot there. of stuff. 
you know, so we're just going to dive into you know, everything. Where so. did it come from? Now, so, you you haven't really talked at all. <laughs> no. She, she just yeah. listened. She said, hey. She just listened back to her. <laughs> Hey guys. Hey guys, I'm here hey. too. I'm still over here. Hey. <laughs> so uh I don't care where you guys want to start off. I'm down to talk about whatever. So. Well, let's start at the beginning. Look. Why do we always gotta start at the no I'm just <laughs> Well, I mean we could work our way backwards. Let's go to the movies. <laughs> go, no, go ahead, go ahead. Start with the beginning here. Let's go ahead. No. You want you want to roll or uh well real quick. Um, I ended up finding some research in like different cultures of the way they perceived vampires. Um, they have like these uh, folklores have came from old Greece, old Rome, France, India, and China. Um, it date backs all the way to the Adam and Eve times. Um, Adam actually ended up having a first wife of the name Lilith. Mm, we're going to talk about her yeah. in a little bit. Lilith. Yeah. Uh, we actually talked about her in our witchcraft episode, but it has a lot to do with the story we're going to be talking about tonight. Cool. Yeah. Sweet. So we'll get there, so I'll skip with that one. Um, in Greek mythology, there was a, a woman of the name of uh, Bol Bolomia. Um, oh, Baloney. <laughs> Uh, Libyan well, queen. Has a first name. Sounds like an STD. <laughs> Close enough. But she was a Libyan queen who had lots of children with the Greek god Zeus. Mm. Oh. Yes. Zeus like him little. He liked getting he around. He had a lot of lovers. Yeah, Zeus got like to play <laughs> games, huh? And if you guys paid attention to the last episode, we talked about Zeus yep. and King Lycan. Yep. Yeah, man, Zeus is mm -hmm. all over the place, just skeet skeet. And then uh, Skit -skit. when Zeus's wife, uh, Sahara, found out, uh, Bologna uh, fled and transformed herself into a creature who attacked other mother's children and drank their blood. Ah. Yes. Uh, in India, the vampire goddess Kai uh, dates back to the 6th century. She was a creature with a multiple, multiple arms and a necklace of skulls. A mouth full of fangs uh, that dripped blood. Yeah. Nice. Nice. That's cool, dude. Yeah. yeah. That's a cool one. I like that. I like it. I like yeah. it. Yeah. And then uh, the concept of a vampire uh, runs all over the Asian culture. Yeah. Um, in uh, Mal Malaysia, the vampire was a being who who uh, would land near the cribs of babies with its long snake uh, tongue and would suck out their blood. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like a, uh, what a vamp an actual vampire bat does. Mm -hmm. You know, because mm -hmm. the vampire mm -hmm. bats, they wait for people to go to sleep, and then they fly down and they suck the blood out of your neck, pretty much. Well, you know, and at this point in the time frame that she's talking about, they weren't even considered vampires. Yeah. yeah, vampire yeah. is a modern term. If, yeah. if you guys don't know, uh, vampires did not exist, uh, you know, thousands of years ago. Uh, that is a relatively new term. Well, the, yeah. the term vampire things. did yeah. right, did right, exist. Yeah. right, right. Yeah. Back then, they were considered demons or yes. spirits. They weren't actually called vampires. No. But yeah, they again, you know, I don't know how how far you went into. Uh, um, all the way. <laughs> <laughs> all I don't know how way. far you want me to as far as I could to go uh, into uh, Vlad. <laughs> well, I, I actually, it's funny in the research that I did, I thought about him, and I didn't go very far into him. Cool. At all. So I want to get this out of the way then. because Do you I, want me to finish with this real quick. Yes. Or? Yeah, yes. Go ahead. Uh, there's only a couple more. Um, yeah. And Cavus, uh, Cavus was a kind of creature in Japan. Um, it was a monster who hid in lakes and rivers, waiting to feast on travelers. Uh, in China, um, vampires, uh, Shang-Chi. Uh, it's I, I, I looked that up. Same one. It's, uh, Chong, it's actually Chong, Chong-Chi. Chong-Chi. Chong yeah. It's weird because it doesn't look like it at all yeah. how it's spelled, but. Yeah. Chuck Norris. They had a, yeah. They had a little side that said Chong-Chi is how they pronounced it. So, which yeah. is weird. I don't know. It was a strong and vicious being able to transform into a wolf who would rip the heads and limbs off uh, their prey. Sweet. 
<laughs> that and then bad. the last one I read about was in Aztec culture of Mexico, a blood drinking vampire bat god uh, met unfortunate souls in the underworld. The Aztecs worshipped these flying mammals. They said that um, in a year's time, a colony of 100 bats can consume the quantity of blood equivalent to draining an entire herd of 25 cows. Yeah. Wow. So. And did you catch the name on that? I was trying to figure out how to say that. You go, uh, go ahead and try. I, I don't even know where to start <laughs> with that. It's actually on my next page over here. Yeah. It's Cahia Tateo. Cahia Tateo, yeah. I think, is how they may have said that. Yeah. Um, and basically, they were skeleton faced spirits. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That would prey on these people. Okay, well, I, I, that's, I, it, that's all I got with that. Yeah, I got a couple things that I, I kind of want to add to her stuff. Um, she already talked about the 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 notion of vampirism uh, has existed for millennia. Uh, started back Mesopotamia, the Hebrews, the ancient Greeks, yep. uh, and the Romans. Uh, back then, it was stories told by the elders. Um, about tales of demons and spirits. Uh, it, there was some well, blood sucking, but there was some other stuff. There's all kinds of sucking they going would come, on. They would come and take your children and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Um, but I just wanted to kind of touch on this little subject here of vampires are revenants of evil beings, suicide victims, and witches is what they considered them. Now, if you don't know what a revenant is, a revenant is an animated corpse believed to have re, uh, revived from death to yeah. haunt the living. Is yeah, the I definition remember reading of that, revenant. yeah. Um, revenant is actually an old uh, French word meaning mm -hmm. the return. Yeah. The returning. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, you know, talking about, like, children and stuff mm -hmm. like that, you know, Back in the day, they would consider, you know, some birth defects would make you as a sign of being a vampire. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. Um, so a lot of kids were killed just because they had a birth defect that was supposedly vampire related. Yeah. Absolutely. It's crazy. Um, but to add to our, our deal about the blood and yeah. stuff... Uh, the Persians were one of the first to have tales of blood-drinking demons and spirits. Yeah. The Babylonians had Lalitu. The Hebrews had Lilu, who were the daughters of Lilith. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Lilith was a demon that would seduce men. Yep. She would come into their house and sit on their chest sit and steal their, face. their seed. <laughs> we talked about her in pretty pretty good length about back in our witchcraft episode because she has a lot to do with the witchcraft culture. Yeah. Which, as I was looking into this, you know, back then in the medieval times, they considered vampires as uh, you know, witches and you know, like I just said, the the witches and yep. suicide victims and stuff. Um, could have been considered vampires. They were actually back then called revenants. But yeah, uh, one of my favorite words though is from the Romans. Uh, uh, was it the Romans? Stragoi. Uh, Stragoi. Stragoi is what they. That is their word for uh, vampire. Where did I have heard that before? Strigoi is what they call them on that series, The Strain. Yeah, yeah. that's it, man. You know what? Fuck, I'm glad you fucking said that. I love that freaking series, yeah. and I don't think they were doing it a second no. season. Well, yeah. Oh, dude, there was like four seasons of that. But it's ended now. Yeah, there's like Oh, four that's right, that's there. right. But it has ended. That sucks, man. Yeah. I, I say there's four. There's either three or four seasons of that. What's that? There's this another one. Series. There was another one that just came out that I really, really loved. The Passage. Was that it? Was that the one with... Uh, with Say by the Bell. Say, yeah. Uh, God, what the hell is it? Gosler. Yeah. Uh, Something. Uh, yeah, you guys know what we're talking about. Zach Gosler. Zach. Anyway. anyway um, yeah, The Passage I is what that was that called. Show. That was really cool. And they're not doing really enough cool. fucking second season of it. Yeah. yeah. That's horrible, that man. Sucks. That was a great show. Sucks. Great show. 
There's all kinds of cool shows out there. Yeah, we'll oh, talk. Yeah. We'll, I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about get that. Into that but, yeah. a bit. But, but like I said, uh, a lot of these myths originated back in the medieval times. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, it's history. That's where it that's where it we is. got our stuff, and this bleeds down into this. No pun intended, and it goes in and <laughs> down and yeah. further down and further down. You know, and then you get different terms for everything. Mm-hmm. You know, so like that's what we we're talking about, like yeah. with vampires yeah. when when the actual word vampire came about and all that. Right, which we're gonna get into. Yes. We, will. Um, we will. We're you know, we're getting there. We promise. Yeah, yeah. You know, something interesting that. Uh, I guess I can wait till you guys get into like the history of the actual vampire itself, because I, I want to talk about something. The reason why they drink blood. Okay. And kind of okay. it has to do with stuff that's going on now. So I'll talk about that in a minute. You got something you want to talk about over there? I know you're itching. I mean, that could be the do crabs, it. but do it. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you know? Trust me, I know. I've been itching for a month. No. <laughs> You know, they've got sprays for that. Ah, uh, yes. You can go to the doctor. He'll give you a shot. I know. <laughs> oh. No, I'm just joking, guys. Wow. We're just playing. I'm We're just, just joking. joking. Wow. No one, has, <laughs> no one has crabs anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we took care of that. Oh, shoot. Uh, no, but anything else you want to pop in there with? Oh, I got a lot, but I don't know where you guys are wanting to we go We don't with care. This. Just go with it. And I'm sorry I made a mistake. It wasn't the Rom- Romans. It was in Romania. Romania. They called them Ro- Oh, well, here, let me just talk about Vlad real fast since we're not going to be talking. Do it. Do it. We're not going to talk too much about him. We're going to talk him. a little no. bit about him. And, you know. Uh, 1428. And so basically, well, it was from, he, what was it? 1431 to 1476, when right? That was his. Mm-hmm. His span there. Yeah. Um, Vlad Tepish. How do you say that? Tepish. Tepish? Tepish. Vlad Tepish, you know. Um, that's where Bram Stoker's basically got his inspiration. Mm-hmm. And for, for Dracula, you know, it's great, great movie. Uh, cl- I mean, it's a freaking iconic movie. Classic. Um, so, but in it real a, life. It is a great, great book, but. Bram Stoker's Dracula is not the first book to come out about vampires. No, it no. is not. It's no. just the most important one. Yeah, well, I, I'm just talking right. about yeah, yeah. where no, you, no, no, you know, I'm sorry. Deal. I, was, Do yeah. it. I wasn't trying to interrupt. I was just... You don't lie to us. We know you're going to interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> really but, was. well, see, the thing about him is that, you know, Vlad was, to a lot of his people, he was a hero. Yeah, he was. He, he was a supreme leader of... I mean, a great, oh. great leader who... He was a great dictator. Got it from the bottom, now we're here. But he was very ruthless. Yes, yeah, he was. He took care of his people, though. You know, yeah. sometimes you need yeah. somebody like that. I don't want to get into that, but... He's not a bad guy. Yeah. Um, Just did some really bad shit. <laughs> well, don't fuck around with his people. Yeah. You know what I mean, I'm saying? He basically... what they, they said that he was a great leader who defended his people against, like, the Ottomans. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He just he he had to teach people a lesson. Sometimes you gotta let people know not to fuck around. Yeah, and what better way to teach people a lesson than to put a bunch of dead bodies on stakes in your front yard? Yes. Yeah. For miles. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but hey, man. Lesson learned. The thing is, so that's it's nice sauce to dip your bread. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking Me. about. How you done? But yeah, I mean, How um, you doing? so basically, you know, the Romanians. Uh, th- th- he kind of got a bad deal. Well, yeah, <laughs> he kind of got a he bad kept deal. Some, what, he had, I mean, you know, when sometimes he was younger, wasn't he in? He kind of did, but he didn't in a dungeon for some time. Yeah, by the Ottomans. there's a that's the whole thing. It goes way back. Yeah, you know, he had a lot of a lot of hate. Yeah, and it's you got hate in your didn't heart. Didn't they murder his family, like two of his <laughs> siblings? If you got hate in your heart, let it out by well, hanging people on stakes. Let it out. <laughs> but you know what I mean? He kind of got a bad cut. He was just a guy you don't fuck around with, yeah. man. You, and he took care of his people. I, the movies have been great. The book was great. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, so he didn't really, a lot of, I, it's cool how they connect it, and I, I like it. The story's mm-hmm. cool about it. But, yeah. you know, he was really just a, I guess you call him a dictator, but, I mean, he took care of his peeps, and he was a vicious, vicious enemy. Mm-hmm. If, you know, if you cross them, then you got... Make you know. sure you're on the right side. Exactly. <laughs> so, I don't know if you want to add anything else Go about... Go on, fuck with me. <laughs> 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 you 
Come on, do it. Kill me. I'm do right it. here. <laughs> it's not a tumor. I don't know if you want to talk about anything else about him, but um, you can more than welcome to if you got any other info you want to talk no, about. No, I'm good. Mm-mm. Yeah, I, I yeah. didn't get into him exactly. too much. And uh, although he has something to do with the story, he really has nothing to do with it. Mm-hmm. Not really. You know, 1477. He was assassinated. Yeah, that's it. There you go. There you go, You're guys. Dead. We didn't want to get too much into the <laughs> whole. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you're dead. Yeah, you're dead. Oh, yeah. Um, so, what do you want to talk about next? On the, I, don't, I hate let's going skip on ahead a little bit. Yeah. Skip ahead. Fuck, and I've got a strange right thought too that I, I kind of want to get into. I don't think you but, can talk about that on this podcast. Um, oh, sure we can. <laughs> um, so the earliest recordings of vampire activity were in 1672. Mm. Uh, in 1672, there was a, it was in a region of Asturia, uh, which is now modern Croatia. There was a man named Juri Grando who died mm-hmm. in 1956. He was a big man. <laughs> big man. Big. The villagers in their <sighs> village claim that he returned from the grave and was drinking the blood of people, the, nice. the villagers. He was drinking the blood of the villagers and sexually harassing his widow. Oh, wow. <laughs> How can you? Yeah. I, yeah. I, it was in there, so I wrote it down. God it damn it, to do Cheryl. Sex and, damn it, and Cheryl. That's, that's what I wanted to do. Just give it up. That was a she shed. <laughs> so, um, so... You know, I don't know where you guys want to go with this. Well, I'll talk about Bethany. Let's do it. Because she would be next on, you know. Next on the list. Yeah. The bathing in blood. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm bathing in the blood of Christ. Yeah. What Bathe. do you guys have on Bethany? Bathing your blood. Uh, I read some stuff on her. Yeah. I didn't write anything down. Okay. Uh, okay. Bree's got a novel over here. She likes to read. Does. She does. All right. I was kind of excited when I read her book. I want you to read yeah. it in this voice right here. Okay. <laughs> she was a Hungarian noblewoman. <laughs> oh, Hungarian. <laughs> Dude, we're going to get kicked off YouTube. <laughs> 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 Somebody out there is going to be like them racist fuckers. Hey, Never. Just... <laughs> Just. Just I'm tip. sorry. Does that offend you? <laughs> <laughs> Some people it does. Eh, everybody's offended by everything. Yeah. We They'll sensitive. It. It's a sensitive yeah, generation, but we just want to love. We all just want love. But actually, peace. cool. I, I'm actually glad you're talking about this because it gets into something I want to talk about. Add on to it. So go ahead and um. Go talk, ahead and hurry up and get your go show. Ahead and, <laughs> go ahead and hurry up and shut the hell up so I can speak. She was also a serial killer. No, you go ahead. Read your thing, girl. Oh, I'm going I do to. Wanna, I do want to add to it though. You better. <clears throat> Uh, she had been labeled by Guinness's World Records as the most uh, prolific female murderer. Ooh. Uh, the precise number of her victims is debated. Elizabeth and four collaborators uh, were accused of torturing and killing hundreds of young women between 1585 and 1609. The highest number of victims... Um, was that 1585? Is that what you just said? Yep. 1585. Yep. 1585. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> um, let's see. The highest number of victims cited during Elizabeth's trial was 650 victims. <whistles> yeah. Man. Um, a witness of the name of Susanna, a servant girl. Oh, Susanna. Susanna. Don't, don't you cry for me. I made you on my knee. Oh. That was fun. Anyway. Okay, now that reminds me of that statue with the bleeding eyes. <laughs> yeah. Listening to country. Evidently, you've never heard of Chris Stapleton, asshole. Oh, he's a fucking jackass. Oh, how dare you! You're lucky. <laughs> Which is lost you're, about you're lucky dollars. this is a fucking horror page. <laughs> there about to be a mass murder up in this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, dude. Yeah. No, that was the other guy in Vegas. What was his name? Dick anus. <laughs> One where they shot all the people at the concert. Oh, oh yeah, no, I can't remember that guy's name. Anyway. Any hoot, go <laughs> ahead. Susanna. She was a serving girl who actually worked under Elizabeth. Um, apparently, 
she ended up coming across a private book that had the names and ages of the girls. The women. Wow. But she had a ledger. But you know, the book was never found. But oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. 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 This isn't hocus pocus. Wait a minute. She read the book that had these That's names what I'm on saying. it. Like, but the book was, was never found. Up. Well, no, oh, she did she read she a book that server. wasn't found. No, 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 no. She found the book. Yes. But oh, after everything girl. happened, yeah. they evidently got re they pulled the Clinton. Oh, oh. <laughs> gotcha. And except And we're back. Yeah. Sorry guys, I promise no it's more. That guy got shit. killed in a car accident tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. I know I promised. Oh, I dude, promised no just political, political shit. Oh, my God. God dang it. Brian, you fired. Right, I'll take an L on that one, guys. I'm sorry. When the Let's jokes see. pop out, the jokes pop out. I apologize. Edit at 25. Nope, 32. don't <laughs> edit shit. I apologize. No more political shit. Promise. Sorry, guys. All right. Go ahead. Oh. The stories of her sadistic serial murders are verified by the testimonies of more than 300 witnesses and survivors, as well as physical evidence and the uh, presence of horrible, uh, mutilated, dead, dying, and imprisoned girls found at the time of her arrest. Ooh. Wow. Stories describe her vampire-like tendencies, such as the tale that she bathed in blood of virgins oh. to retain her youth. Bathed in blood. blood. Yeah. Yes. Well, and that's cool, because that's kind of something I want to talk about. Yeah. That has to do with what's going on now. Yeah, thank you. And uh, some the reasons why some some people say... Ryan's wanting to take a bath. Yes. In blood. So. <laughs> and we're doing it tonight. There's live. no virgins Whoa. here. Whoa. All three of us. Yeah. yeah. Um, no. So, some people speculate and say that the reason why, the same reason why Elizabeth did this, that vampires drink blood is to kind of goes along with draining the life source, mm -hmm. the life yeah. force, because yeah. um, it keeps them young. Yes. Right. Right. Keeps their body refreshed, which, if you think about it now, yeah. there. I don't know if you know this, but they've done studies. I know it all. Okay, good. I'm glad you do. <laughs> I don't know. They've I done. Don't know shit. Well, check it out. This is what's kind of crazy, and a lot of people think that uh, check, 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 check that it out. if I would have said this 20 years ago, people would have thought I was some kind of crazy tinfoil hat guy, which oh, I well, am. Fuck, we think you're a crazy tinfoil hat guy. Well, now. there ain't no thinking. <laughs> there ain't no thinking. I am. What the hell? But. If one of these nights we're gonna fucking record and we'll all have them oil hats on. Dude, oh my god, oh, that would fuck some Well, check this up. out. So, <clears throat> people actually they have been talking about this for a long time, but now it's out there. They've been doing studies and they take basically take blood out of young mice and inject it into older mice, and it rejuvenates them. They basically go back to being young. Got they some pinky in the brain shit going on there. One hundred percent real. Or and then they take the blood out of the older I'm going to take and put over it the into world. the the younger, and it made them old. old. It made their yeah. bodies. Yeah. So Switching it's like souls. they're stealing their life essence. Switching yes, exactly. Bodies. And but Freaky Friday. the thing is, is that it's actually going on now, mm -hmm. and people are getting injections mm -hmm. and stuff like that, which is. There's a whole nother realm of stuff. I want to talk about sometimes, like about spiritual cookings and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the whole bathing in babies blood, eating the young, blah, 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 blah. The shit goes on. People do it all the time. You I, could look I, it up. I still don't understand the whole eating the placenta thing. That's, I don't know. That's kind of weird. Well, it thing. helps with uh, baby blues. I was actually going to do it uh, after I had the girls. I was going to ask gross, my doctor lady. to. <laughs> no, seriously. I was actually going to ask the doctor to Can keep we my placenta, well, listen, send it to a pharmacist, and they were going to make it into pills. Well, that, but, and it helps oh, with. Yeah, but listen, here's the thing, though. They're it's fucked up that they don't let you keep your own shit. That's you. That's yeah. yours. But here's the thing. The you know but why? People do it. Though. They sell that stuff. Yeah. Here's Black why. Market. Well, they also do studies, too. Well, that that's what I'm saying. It's stem cells. Stem cell that's a, have you ever heard of stem cell injections? Stem yeah. cell okay, well, that's research. what it is. Stem cell injections, they come like they start off with placenta. Superman was getting those. You know what I mean? And it's 100% legit now, man, and all this stuff's going on. That's what I'm saying. Like with the vampire situation, her bathing in the blood, it oh, made them younger. Mm -hmm. A lot of people 
thought that vampires, that's why they fit on the, you know, it's kind of like with zombies and brains. That bitch was bathing in the blood because she was fucking wicked and vile. No, oh, yeah. she was smart. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is, it's kind of like zombies and brains. 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 <laughs> Dude, I love the scene. Send more cops. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Night of Living uh, Dead 2. Yeah. <laughs> or Return, Return of, living of the dead. Living Dead. My bad, my bad. Mm. I just watched that the other night. again. I just watched that Great the other movie. night. Great movie. Yeah, we know that's Has why. nothing to do with vampires, but hey. There you go. But yeah, I just want to talk about that because I think it's pretty fucking interesting that yeah. the for way sure. that the world's going now and that people have been doing this well, for years. Well, you know, we're, people are getting blood infusions all the time. Well, that's what and, I was you know, saying, to, yeah. To help with, you know, diseases We're and all stuff vampires like that. if we you really know. do it. So... Life sauce I'm, I'm, I'm going to save that for a little bit. So go ahead. Go ahead. Right. Okay. But anyway, so mm-hmm. we're basically up. We've just been talking about, you know, kind of the reason why we haven't got to why va- where vampire came from. We're getting there. We're getting there pretty from quick, the too. Okay, well, let's get to this motherfucker already. Okay. So I got another <laughs> another story about well, vampirism. Uh, uh, um. So, during the 18th century, yes, uh, there was a frenzy of vampire sightings in Europe. In 1721, mass hysteria began with an outbreak of alleged vampire attacks in East Persia. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was a man. I honestly, I don't, I know his last name, but his first name, it's either Peter or Patar, because it's spelled P-E-T-A-R. I think it may be Patar, Patar. Yeah, but I'd say his so. last name is Blagojevich, which I know that because of Rod Blagojevich who's in prison for, because he's a, you know, political deal the guy that was stealing from Illinois or whatever. Anyway, uh, so Patar Blagojevich, Blagojevich died at the age of 62. It is said that he returned from the grave and he was asking his son for food. Well, his son denied him. He refused to give him any food. So the next day, his son was found dead. Blagojevich then began attacking the neighbors And these neighbors that were attacked, their cause of death was considered loss of blood, Uh is what killed them. He was just really hungry. Very strange story. Very cool story. Cool story, bro. That's awesome. Well, uh, yeah, and I mean... That's awesome. Like, and then then, uh, it's kind of cool the way that they would deal with vampires, as far Mm -hmm. as how they would bury them and what they would do to... To make sure they... Right, yeah. There were all kinds of different... Every culture had something different. You know, every culture called them something different, too. And they had a different way to dispose of them or protect yourself from them. Uh It was just, you know... Well, like, okay, in 2012, and this is coming from a live science... Wow, we jumped way ahead. Well, I'm just (laughs) just talking about... I don't... I'm not on time No, we're good. We're good. So... (laughs) <laughs> she's like, she's like, God damn, you just skipped I over about 30 about of my stories. <laughs> well, you can talk no, about them in a minute. This is just basically what, what we were just talking yeah. about. In 2012, according to a Life Science article, the body of a woman was found in a mass grave on the Ve- Venetian island. Venetian. Venetian. Yeah, there you go. Good job. Like the blind. <laughs> like the blind. <laughs> Venetian island um, of... Now say this one, buddy. Neva, Neva, Dave La- <laughs> Zarto. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> the town. You wrote that shit down. You should be able to say it. Nope, no way. <laughs> I don't think they could say it when they printed this yeah, shit. I wrote some stuff down that I don't know how to say. Yeah. <laughs> but um, they found this. They found this body of this woman, and she had a brick in her mouth. Yes. Set I did mouth. hear about that story. Yeah, and um. The she folklore. didn't die in 2012. That's just no, no, no. They this, found that's what I said. In, yeah. They found in 2012 they found the body in a, in a mass yeah. grave. Right. right. And um, 
the story goes that, and this is how they used to do this back in the day, whenever they would kill a vampire or bury one, they would put a brick in its mouth. That way it couldn't chew its way out through its... Uh, through its coffin or, yeah, or through a shroud. Through a shroud. Right. And then make its way out to uh, be able to... You know, there was all kinds of weird things about that. They talked about... Uh, you know, putting a brick in the mouth and putting a putting a rock in the mouth with a with a, some sort of metal amulet mm-hmm. uh, to keep them from being able to do like you said. You know, chew their shroud. Uh, some of these bodies, when they dug them up, uh, you know, we're going to get into exhumation of bodies, but when they would dig some of these bodies up, you know, all these bodies were wrapped in a shroud. Well, some of them they would find like the shroud like chewed on around their mouth and mm-hmm. stuff and they considered this a form of vampirism uh-huh mm-hmm. and it could who knows because i didn't have they didn't have like regular embalming or nothing like that right so. right there's some weird explanations for a lot of that stuff but yeah it, very cool I thought it was pretty crazy. And then, like, they would, de- of course, they would decapitate them. Mm-hmm. Right. I, one of the ones that I thought was weird was they would decapitate them and then put their head between their knees. <laughs> or, like, at their feet. or They'd either put it at their feet or under their, under their butt In their or, <laughs> or, or bury it completely somewhere else, yeah. you know, to keep them from coming back. You know, and it was funny. The one thing that I didn't run across while I was reading through all this, I I was reading through a ton of different stories and just kind of piecing it all together. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the pictures of, like, the old Victorian graves where they put the cages over the tops of the graves. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking Mm -hmm. about? And they would do that to keep the dead from coming back, Mm -hmm. you know. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, there was all kinds of stuff. Well, the the one thing about the coin or the amulet in the mouth was kind of like the story of how they put the coins on the eyes so that you can pay the ferryman to yeah, get to the... The boatman. You know, to get to the afterlife. Mm-hmm. Uh, they claimed that they were doing the same thing with these vampires yeah. or these, you know, these people, and it would keep them from... Coming back. Coming back. Yeah, it's, but, uh, yeah. you know, and the way of... If, if they will basically protect yourself from a vampire, you know, that was a very a, creepy scene in the Annabelle, the new Annabelle movie, the dude with the freaking coins on his eyes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. they kept creepy, falling dude. out. Yeah, yeah. And they'd roll. Oh dude, <laughs> the movie was pretty creepy. <laughs> but yeah, you know, there's a lot of ways that you know, and it's all different, you know, um, like like garlic, which actually garlic, what a lot of people don't know, probably. Well, I don't know. People who watch this may know it, but garlic had nothing to do with keeping vampires away or repelling them or nothing. It was basically just cover up the smell of the dead. Right, right. Whenever... Uh, well, and there was all kinds of stuff. They were talking about putting... There were stories about them, uh, like, sprinkling seeds over the top of graves and stuff mm-hmm. because they claim that the vampire is... Uh, oh, they had a sp- specific word for it. It was a a number of fascination with numbers or whatever. Yeah, or ma- yeah, count- it was like a mathematicianography. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember what it was. But it was like they would claim that like they would put these seeds out on the graves and then the vampire, whenever it would rise, it would have to count all the seeds. It was fascinated with yeah. counting. And that's, I guess, Sesame Street. One! Uh, <laughs> One! Uh, 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 that's great. Uh, that's great. Um, yeah, but, but yeah, uh, it you would know, keep the vampire from getting to you until they got all the stuff counted, you know. And like, as far as like the garlic goes, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> vampire hunters would use it to cover up the smell because they would op- they'd be opening up dead bodies. Yeah. So they use garlic to cover, they wear it around their neck so they could cover up the smell of the dead bodies. Right. Yeah. And that's what, right. you know, that's what's uh, cool about, you know, one of my favorite movies that we'll be talking about probably more, yeah, you know, we can talk about now actually because yeah, this we'll is t- Vampire. Yeah. But anyway, Lost Boys, one yeah. of my favorite movies of all time, Great vampire man. movies. Um, but whenever they're upstairs and the Frog Brothers are getting ready to kill, uh, who was it? Not Marco. Marco's already dead. I can't remember which one of what his name was, but anyway, they're getting ready to kill one of the one of the uh, guys, and they had a um, bathtub full of water and garlic. Yeah. And he goes, "Garlic don't work, boys." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. it's kind of cool that they yeah. that they had that in there. Yeah. Yeah. There were I ran across all kinds of stories like mustard seed, and one of them was talking about uh, one of the cultures uh, uses an aloe vera leaf that they turn backwards on their door, and it huh. keeps them from being able to get in. 
It's cra- yeah, yeah. It's, it's, there's it's, all kinds of weird beliefs and different cultures and stuff. Yeah, and it's 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 cool because you know it, it goes with everything, not just vampires. Like everything in life, different cultures have different beliefs on things that it's just it's it's crazy. Yeah, it's kind of cool though, um, because to see how like not obsessed but uh, mindful people were back in the yeah. day yeah. there was like yeah. burying people mm-hmm. and res- the dead and respecting it. you know people had a lot of respect for the dead you know back in the day cemeteries and i don't think they are but they weren't a, a scary place or a peaceful place yeah. they're right. a place of rest right. Right. it's a respectful that's why it's sacred ground you know yeah so, um, you know, and uh, it, uh, while we're here, I'm just going to go ahead and go run ahead. through a little bit of this, uh, some of the folklore from some of these different cultures and stuff, because we were just talking about it. So in Africa, they have uh, what the, they call them. <laughs> you talk about some weird words. So <laughs> it's not just Africa. I've got all kinds of weird stuff here. Was Asandosama? Uh, which is basically an iron-toothed tree-dwelling demon entity cool. spirit or whatever that would prey on the living. They also had another one called Impundulu. <laughs> Impundulu. Impundulu, I, I guess, would, is how you would say that. In Madagascar, they have uh, their term for vampire as Ramanga. And then once you get over into the the Americas, like South America, uh, she had touched on the Aztecs a while ago, and we talked about them. Yeah. But Touching there's on. also another Touching one again. that they call a Lugaru. A Lugaru. And a Lugaru, uh, a which I thought no was tail. very interesting, and this is going to bleed <laughs> into our next se- segment. A Lugaru is based off of a French word of Lude Daru which is werewolf. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. That kind of cool. Yeah, that is uh, cool. Albania calls them sh- uh, Shatringa. Uh, in Greece, they call them Vara Kalakas. And in Romania, they Shaka. call them Strigoi. Strigoi. And in America, they call them Shayla. Shayla. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that... Uh, Strigoi. A girl named Shayla. That's pretty neat, though. I, I think mean, that... Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I yeah, how all these on. different... Yeah. And that's that's really what I wanted to get into and my point on doing this is how all these different cultures all over the world are talking about the same thing. thing. Yeah. So something was around. What is happening? Something was happening. This is going to lead me into the weird thing that I was, that I was going to talk about. All right. Um... You know, they talk about what caused some of this. You know, we had mentioned in our werewolf episode about rabies. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh, They claim that could have been part of it because rabies would cause you to foam at the mouth and do different things and and want to bite people. Well, that would be construed as vampiric activity. Uh, There was all kinds of, what was the pestiferia? Pestiferia? Pestiferia. Pestiferia, okay. Uh, th- that was another one. There was all these different things. I had a really, really strange thought. So we all know, well, and I don't know if if you guys have really looked into this. I kind of look into weird stuff sometimes. <laughs> so in the, 1300s, in the 1300s, in the 1300s, uh, if I remember right, it was 1332, 1335, something like that, is when the Black Plague hit Europe. Yeah. Killed millions of people almost completely wiped out the human race in Europe. Yeah. Just hear me out here. It's coming. It's coming. What if, what if, okay, so there was a doctor that talked about, he did the research on this vampiric thing, and they talked about if, how you create a vampire, about how a vampire has to bite another vampire, or... You know, and then how how the progression is. Yeah. Okay. One bites one, turns into two. Two bite two, yeah. turns into four. Yeah. It's a it's a progression thing, and he had claimed that if if a vampire had had been born and say they bit one person a month, which we all know that they bite more than one person a month. Yeah. 
but if they fed once a month, within two and a half years, they would be able to wipe out the population of the earth. If you look at the progression yeah. of, Everyone there's a did. certain word for it. I, I don't remember the word exactly. It's a symbiotic progression or something like yeah. that. Uh, what if evolution? this black plague was actually a vampire attack? Now you're speaking my language. Well, think about that. I mean, it wiped out how many possibilities? It wiped out three, was it one third? It, w it was one third of the population yes. within three years. That is something. Yeah, man, and you know, I I, I know it's far fetched. No, I know it's, it's I know it's really far fetched. But as I was going through the research on this, like it kind of made me wonder. Hey, you're talking to a frog brother here, brother. I'm with you. You know. That's, anyway, that's a really cool freaking uh, Outlook concept. On it, for real. That's, yeah. uh, I, that's how my fuck like mind it. works. Me likey, I me like likey. It a lot. They yeah. claim, uh, you know, and and it's I know it's been proven that oh the black plague was spread by rats. Who proved it? Scientists. But <laughs> what if? I told Louis to stop eating the rats. What These if? Damn scientists and their damn black magic. Bastards. A black magic woman. I'm telling black you. Black magic woman. I'm a black man. Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. We're breaking out in song. No, uh, yeah, screw the scientist. No one is playing. <laughs> uh, science goes so far, you know. I don't know. It, it is what it is, but I liked your uh, concept better than theirs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's more interesting to me. I come up with some of the weirdest ideas. I know the other day you're like, hey, let me just, uh, I mean, you know. What a, yeah, there was something I... <laughs> <laughs> Here, oh, why don't you let me great. hold that while you, you put this in the, my hand? Oh, uh, what? Uh -huh. Oh, I didn't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I told you guys, call me when this happens. <laughs> uh, well, always the missing other out. Day, I told the waitress that Ryan had more meat than I did. <laughs> I said story of his life. <laughs> That is a true story. Very true story. <laughs> I was it's giving great. her trouble because we ordered the same thing at lunch. And I'm like, hey, I'm going to complain. That guy's got more meat than I do. Those <laughs> bastards. Without, without even thinking. He's like, yeah, story of his life. <laughs> <laughs> she just giggled and walked away. Shit, pass, uh, shit flows out of my mouth. I got no filter. Oh, yes. I keep myself very filtered on this podcast, which uh, is hard to believe. But, yeah, I can't. It's false. Yeah, we right keep out. him wrangled in. It keeps falls right out, right out, like a bad case of diarrhea. Right on out there. <laughs> Bree, what do you got going on over there? Yeah, I know you want to talk because we've been talking this whole time. Oh, I don't know. Well, let's bring up something. What do you want to talk What's interesting that you haven't talked about yet that you want to talk about? Something that interests you about this whole situation. It could be about movies. We could talk about some vampire movies that, you know, we want to kind of save the ones that are combining the two for later. But vampire movies themselves, we can talk about right now. Okay, well, what to, what's jumping us in one, let, Let's get it. Uh, one, mean, one big author I need to throw out here that is amazing on what she does mm. is Anne Rice. Yeah. 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 The stuff she has given us is yeah. amazing. Well, the whole vampire Lestat series. Yeah. I was going to say, why don't you let us know some of the things if they don't know what well, she brought out to us? Can we get into how it started, though? Well, go ahead, get into well, how it started. Well, I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to get in. Uh, go ahead, wanna, JT. I don't want to jump in here, but no, I, I kind of want to get into the whole where it first showed up. Yeah. So we know that right up to this here. point, <laughs> up to this point, we right really aren't talking about vampires. Vampires are a modern term. Yeah. Uh, to this point, they were all considered demons or spirits. They weren't really called vampires. Uh, so the term vampire actually first showed up in modern history uh, in literature. The first time it showed up in, in literature was in 1748, and it was in a poem called The Vampire, uh, where they talked about that stuff. Uh, there was another one called Lenore, which came out in 1773, and then the Spectral Horseman, which came out in 1810. The Spectral Horseman was written by Mary Shelley. Yeah. Mary Shelley was the creator of Frankenstein. Yes. <clears throat> okay. 
So the actual modern vampire that we know and love today was actually born in fiction in 1819 with the very first book called The Vampire. Uh, And it was written by John Polidor. Yes, sir. Uh, He wrote this book in 1819. And then Joseph Sheridan left Fanu, which was a French uh, writer, wrote a book called Carmilla in 1872. And then that was followed up by the big one, Bram Stoker's Dracula, in 1897. Bram Stoker is the one that modernized the whole vampiric lore, what we see today, the all the little things that we haven't even talked about yet, the repulsion to sunlight, the not seeing your reflection in mirrors, the, the garlic, the silver, the, all that stuff is all really because of these three writers. Yeah, and, you know, it kind of created this, like oh, it's a persona it. yeah the what? persona of the vampire yeah exactly yeah, yeah that's a good there you yeah. go because like i guess i was trying to think of uh, like a, the craze a craze of vampire but no it's like a more well, it of a, did because then it exploded after that yeah you know what i mean it, it brought it into the mainstream i guess you would say and gave it that push yeah that it needed to um kind of get everyone involved into it and you know it kind of made to where it doesn't go so much, like you said, off of fact. Right. It's more off yeah, of Yeah, this was all works of fiction. Yeah. You know. And it, you know. They took those old stories and they kind of embellished them and, you know. Which we talked about, you know. Right. Let's, you know. So, yeah, and it kind of made it to where, you know, people were having fun with it. You know, you like to get scared. You know, you want to hear about, oh, there's vamp- these things called vampires. Right. And then, you know, it goes from there. Push, yeah. it, push it out there. Which is awesome because it's yeah. something that I yeah. love. The I love vampire movies, dude. Yeah, vampires. Oh, I and do too. Zombies do. and werewolves, man. My three top favorites. I love, I love slashers. Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm a slasher fan. Myself, I'm a slasher so. fan too. I love all horror except. But anyway, we're not gonna talk about it. But um, I don't know. A vampire movie was probably the first. You know, that's what's sad for me is I cannot remember the first horror movie I ever saw. Alzheimer's is a bitch. If I had to guess, it was something, you know, House on Haunted Hill or yeah. <laughs> Dracula. You know, one of those old black and yeah. white Universal ones. That's yeah, the, that's the only thing I can think of that it would have been because I used to they used to play a lot of those on TV. You know, when I was a kid, we didn't yeah. have well, cable didn't exist when no. I was a kid. Yeah, you know, because I'm fucking old as fuck. Old as dirt. He was actually around yeah. whenever Brom Stokers wrote this fucking book. Yeah, just about. <laughs> <It> really was. <laughs> No, guys. Uh, I, well, for me, I think we talked about this before, but like my first that, horror movie. That is fucked up because that book wasn't even 100 years old whenever I was born. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, my first horror movie was Phantasm, and I still love all those today. Um, my first vampire movie was Lost Boys, and that one really stuck with me, and it still does. My son loves it. It's a good one. That's, you know, that's... It's it's funny. I think my first vampire movie was probably Dracula, but first vampire movie that I can remember was Salem's Lot. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. I know you like the freaking back of my hand. Back of his hand. <laughs> In fact, it came up on my list down here. Which but. thankful, which thankful enough, we wouldn't have none of this without those three direct, those three writers, yeah. you know. Yeah. And they created something that stuff we love, and um, a whole freaking plethora of plethora. You like my words? I huh? do. You I like do. that? Yeah, I got words, yo. <laughs> so anyway, Bria, <laughs> I'm sorry, I wasn't trying it. to cut you off. I just wanted to get that in before you got into your before more he cut you stuff. off. He's gonna cut you off. Just so. know that. Well, I'm good. She even wrote like. In spots like where all the writing, she's got little spots that says dot 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 interruption by yeah. JT. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just fucking go ahead. What are what are some other stuff you want to talk about, or you want to jump into some movies? Well, let's jump into movies. Let's jump into some movies, guys. So, yes. what is your 
What is your favorite? I already know yours. We all know yours. We all know mine. You just said it. What's your favorite vampire movie? I'd have to say there's two of them. Childhood, well, now there's three of them. Childhood, I would have to say it was Lost Boys, as well as Interview with the Vampire, and then uh, Queen of the Dam. Yes. Oh, Queen of Queen the Dam. Yeah. I often forget movie. about that movie. We mm. named our dog after Great. Kasha. Yeah. I got a black lab named Kasha. Kasha. She's 13 mm. years old. She's old as hell. <laughs> no, uh, old. yeah, Queen of the Dam was a great, great freaking movie. I, uh, I love that movie. My wife loves, you know, Crystal loves that freaking oh, yeah. movie. And, um, Aaliyah, you know, shout out to her. She died way too young, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. that movie was so good. The music, the soundtrack, talk about soundtracks. So great. Oh, yeah. Dude, that, the whole freaking soundtrack to that movie is awesome. It's Static X, mm -hmm. basically, and yeah. fucking Disturbed. Yeah. Uh, Eh, disturbed. Oh, come on. <laughs> Damn. Anyway. Uh, I've seen them guys live. They're fucking horrible. What? <laughs> Get out of here. They just... honestly, they put on the worst live show I've ever Do seen. Do they sound dude. good? They sounded okay. I mean. No, sounded good. <laughs> anyway. Uh, interview with the Vampire. <clears throat> I actually, I like that movie. It's not one I watch all the time, though. Just because I can't. I don't know why, but I fucking hate, what would you call it, Victorian-era movies? Yeah, I love the Victorian I know you do. pieces. I, I can't. Yeah. I cannot. I cannot do them. I don't know why. Uh, the closest one, Interview with the Vampire would be the closest one that I can watch. Yeah. And like it. I think what disturbed me the most out of that movie was the transformation of Kirsten Dunst. That was yes. great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the way, well, talking about the plague, you know. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, uh. Of course, you're not supposed to turn the child, right? And everything, but like that movie, that movie did a great job on it. Yeah, for sure. It's a definitely a great movie. Don't yeah. get me wrong. I'm not saying it's not. It's a great, great movie. Um, I like. Uh, I mean, it's got Christian Slater in it, who I love, and it's got freaking Tom Cruise, Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt, Pitt Dunst. Kirsten Dunst. I mean, there's a, actually kind of few other. Yeah, big there's actors actually in big there. actors, of course. Um, was was Christian Slater? Was he playing the, John Harker? He yeah, he was the inter, the guy interviewing the vampire. Because like in Bram Stoker's Dracula, which I I just got to say, uh, Keanu Reeves and Winona Ryder. I, I, I'm just gonna say it. I, they were absolutely beautiful in that movie. Oh, uh, it's so. Keanu well, Reeves, sure. dog. Yeah. It's Keanu um, Reeves. But he played John Harker, who was going to interview. Oh, okay. Dracula. Dracula. That's yeah. right, yeah. Yeah, um, I can't go wrong Keanu Reeves. I'm sorry. I love the guy. <laughs> but, uh, he was but, okay until he got old. <laughs> yeah, so you said Lost Boys, of course, which I freaking love. Blade. And Blade, shit, Blade. dude, come on. And could they have picked a can't better person? Can't go wrong person? with Blade. Could they have picked a better person to play Blade? I hear he's reprising that role, too. Dude. That'd be so awesome, man, because I love Blade. That movie was a huge movie, too, for me, because I was a vampire hunter. From what, <laughs> yeah. from what I was reading the other day, they're doing a new Blade movie, and he is going to be... Uh, it didn't really make a lot of sense, because I think he's still going to be Blade, but he's basically going to be playing the part of Wesker. Or, uh, Whist Whistler. 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 Uh, Wesker's from Wesker. Wesker? Well, sorry, <laughs> uh, Whistler. Uh, he's going to be training the new, the new one, the new uh, Blade. Cool. So. I love Part Three. <clears throat> what I heard, just because Ryan Reynolds is hilarious. Oh yeah. <laughs> that, but uh, yeah, I love all the Blades. I mean, Buffy you the Vampire dog? Slayer. Buffy the Vampire. Did, yeah. <laughs> Did you check the lobby? Did you check the lobby? Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Come on, that that with me, Christy Swanson. That with me is right there with Lost Boys. That's when I knew I was a lesbian. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to get old Buffy? Did you? Oh fuck the yeah. buff stuff. Uh, yeah, those that movie, like I said, is right. Best up part there. of that movie was Paul Rubin's death scene. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, I love dude. it. Great, great film, man. That is 
definitely another big one for me too. And the series. I mean, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. Nineteen ninety seven. I watched That's the shit decided. out of that. That yeah. intro is still one of my favorite intros to a fucking mm-hmm. TV series yeah. ever, man. Um, great, great freaking film. Great C- TV series. Um, there's been some bad ones. Twilight. I mean, uh, you know, um, all the other Twilights. Um, <laughs> I know you like them. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I'm not in love with them, but they weren't that bad. I can't. I think it's fun. <laughs> fucking sparkle, dude. Sean Brown, like a dog. All right, let's just talk about it. Vampires don't sparkle. They burst under flames. They flight. spark, and then they blow up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what happens with them. But I understand. They got to, it is what it is. I, they got to sell. They got to sell yeah. stuff, but definitely not my cup of tea. We'll get it. I don't, oh, man. Yeah. True don't, blood. True blood. I got yeah. into True those. Blood. Those True were blood awesome. Was good. True blood. I love Derek. Eric. Sookie Stackhouse. What about, yes. uh, okay. what about, okay. um, oh, what's that movie? She's mine. She's mine. Blood Rain. Blood Rain. Blood Rain, Blood Rain was all right. Mainly because she's smoking hot. <laughs> she's yeah. like top was all <laughs> That's good. That's good. Um, I mean, there's a ton of fucking well, vampire movies. Well, one man. of my favorite modern vampire movies, which we're really going to get into in our next episode, was the whole Underworld series. Yes. Yeah, we'll talk. We're going to save um, that though, because that's going to be a big part of our yeah, next. Because that's a big part of the next. Yeah, that's episode. a big part of the trilogies from coming on to our next next week. Yeah. You know, we got to mention here, if we're talking about movies, we got to mention the movie that started it all, and that was the 1922 Nosferatu. Nosferatu, uh, man. Which starred Max Schreck. Silent film, wasn't it? Uh, and it was a silent film. Mm, yep. And then the original 1931 Dracula starring Bela Lugosi mm-hmm. uh, was the first vampire Dracula movie to be filmed. Uh, no, it was a no. black and white movie. It was black and white. But it was filmed with sound. Mm. Hmm. It wasn't the first film to be filmed in sound, but yeah. it was the first yeah. vampire movie, or Dracula movie. Uh, you know, and then years later in the 50s, late 50s, Christopher Lee took over the helms of Dracula and did all that that whole horror, uh, Hammer Horror series mm-hmm. of Dracula films, which it's funny, I didn't realize, I've seen a lot of those, but I didn't realize, so he did... So the Christopher Lee version of Dracula came out in 1958. There were seven sequels to that. Jeez. That was the first That's awesome. That was the first Fast and Furious. <laughs> you know, just crazy. And then I wrote it down just because I thought it was funny. In 1972, Blackula. Blackula. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Which is a horrible movie. Oh, what about uh, A Vampire in Brooklyn? I like a Vampire great. in Brooklyn. I like that That's movie. A that great movie. Great. That's a great movie. That's I like movie. it a lot. That's fun. It's funny and shit. That's a good movie, man. Dude, just the beginning of that movie when that ship's coming into uh-huh. port. And, oh, Eddie dude. Murphy did great in that. He did. Dude. He, he did killed a great that shit. That. That's a good movie. Uh, then of course I got to mention my favorite, which is uh, Salem's Lot, that came out in 1975 or 1979, based off of a book by Stephen King. Absolutely great vampire movie. The whole lore. The way they portrayed the vampires in that movie was fantastic. In that movie, if you've seen it, you know that the head vampire, his name is Mr. Barlow. Well, if you look at him, he's not your typical what we think of as modern vampire. He's not charismatic. He's not good looking. He's he's, he's got that he's got that blue <laughs> face. Well, we didn't really get into this, but the old back in the day when they when these things first started coming out, they were depicted as ugly, ruddish, mm-hmm. like bloated with like purplish yeah. skin yeah. and yeah. stuff. Dead bodies kind of so coming yeah. back. The, Not these sexy the vampire human in yeah, Salem's like Lot Batman. was more true to the original. Yeah. You know, vampire. Yeah, see, that, I, I remember it's funny because like, uh, you guys know, like we just talked about, I was always a frog brother, man. I was a hunter. I loved all that stuff. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, dude, actually, to be honest with you, I'd fucking love to be a vampire. If I didn't have kids and wasn't with my wife for 20 years since we were 14. I'd still be a frog brother. <laughs> I'd be out there hunting vampires yeah. somewhere. But um, what I was going to say is it's funny because I remember watching Lost Boys, right? And I can't remember who I was with. 
But somebody was like, uh, somebody said when it, it was the scene whenever they go into the actual uh, whatever you want to call it lair, and they go to kill the vampires, right? And then they they climb up and they freaking stake Marco mm. in the chest, right? And uh, Marco, yeah, Paolo, Paolo. No, uh, someone was like, well, hold, how can they those little kids just stab through them like that? And um, it came to me. I'm like, well, dude, they're dead, so their bodies. Would be You're soft. Dead. Would be softer to fucking push it through, but then I got thinking about it with what they're, you know, they fight and they do all this shit. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's like, uh, but for me, I was thinking, oh yeah, man, their bodies would be easy to freaking just push, push stuff through. And it kind of reminds me a little bit, also. I mean, kind of a little bit off the subject, but and uh, horror, but zombies, like uh, with um, Walking Dead. People are like, oh, how come the zombies are all slow and like they're all in the, at the beginning they were all like. Moving fast and fresh, and they were. I'm like, well, yeah, dude, they're decaying. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's the what's going yeah. on. That's and the why the population going down. And not- yeah, that's exactly why they're so soft now and so easy to kill. And that's just real quick. That's one reason why I love that series, man. It brings it just because it brought it into how eventually it was. It would be the the people left that you would have to worry about. You know, what I mean, yeah. and that's with anything. But uh, back to the vampire thing. Yeah, yeah I'm going to have to agree with you, man. Um, all three of them are great movies. and But uh, Lost Boys will always be probably, man, yeah, probably my favorite, I'd have to say. And, I, and that's hard to say, too, because I love Blade. I love Blade, all that whole series. Except there was one that didn't have Wesley Snipes in it. Yeah. Uh, what was it, like House of Blood or something like that? Something like that. I never really watched that one. I watched like the first 10 seconds of it. I'm like, ah, it just ain't the same. Yeah. It's kind of like watching the new Nightmare on Elm Street without Robert England. Yeah. You know, it just Well, ain't. soon it's going to be Kevin Bacon. Well, I told you guys about Maybe. that. Maybe. I told you they had it out a long time ago, and uh, that all came about from fucking uh, Robert England. Yeah. Uh, I want to throw this out there. What do you guys think about 30 Days a Night? Love it. That one's great. I thought yeah. it was a cool movie. Love yeah. it. I really did not expect to like that movie. Me that either. That's a good one. That's a great yeah. movie, dude. Great, great movie. The I way they did. about that. <laughs> Me too. That's I a good that movie, though. When you mentioned that, I'm like, yeah. oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. That's a great film. I mean, the way they did the vampires. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I love that, man. Yeah. I loved it. That was a really good. I'm glad you brought that up. I can't believe I fucking forgot about no. that. Yeah, and their oh, settings, I mean, it was perfect for like oh, it always it, being dark and stuff like that. Like, out in the middle, yeah, middle of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great yeah. freaking film. I, it's funny because uh, you know some people, uh, some people you talk about that movie and they're like, eh, what? A, you know, it, that's one of those movies. I, I, I guess it's like every other movie. You either love it or you hate it. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, I thought they did a killer job on that yep. movie. Yeah, just I love the way they filmed it and being in a secluded vampires, area. Yeah. You know, up in Alaska, and just I don't know. You know, it just Always it does. added to the intensity of the movie. Yeah, yeah and it was cool. You know, cause even if you can get away from these fuckers, where are you gonna go? Exactly, exactly man. You yeah. gotta survive till daylight. You know, that's a great movie, man. I'm glad yeah. you brought that up because yeah. that's a fucking really good film. Yeah. That is definitely on my top top ones for sure. I haven't There's, watched that in a long time either. I just seen that on that fucking Tubi. I've got it here. Oh, dude, we got to talk about Tubi. I, I would out. have never. I'm glad you called me the other night, and, or yeah, well, that, texted me. And yeah, guys. I mean, told me about Tubi. It's great. We're gonna probably jump into some other it's stuff great. here real fast. But so that's our vampire episode, guys. Um, hey, hey, guys. You guys want to know something? Did you just fart. Where do vampires keep their money? Oh shit. <laughs> At the blood bank. Oh, <laughs> but in, oh. But in, what, what do you give? What What do you get if you cross a vampire with the snowman? Frostbite. Oh, oh. that's <laughs> it. I'm done. I'm out of here. <laughs> why do Why do vampires need cold medicine for their coffin? <laughs> <laughs> What's a vampire's favorite holiday? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's all I got. Uh, and the only one I could think of is how do you get a witch pregnant? How? You fuck her. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sorry. wow. Okay. Oh, Thanks, so, guys, guys, thanks, guys. That's our episode on vampires. <laughs> We're going to talk about some other stuff real fast. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Um, but, yeah, so I had been hearing about this Tubi. 
Um, to be or not to be. To be or not to be. It's, T- it's a great app. T-U-B-I. Yeah. So someone was talking about it, and I'm like, well, fuck, I'll check it out. Um, I kept seeing it pop up, but I was like, oh, Yeah. I well, know. I downloaded it on, the, on my phone and shit. I'm like, I'll check it out. If anything, I can uninstall it. So I'm checking out, and I'm like, of course. This is not a paid advertisement for at, all. at all. By far, yeah. we have no advertisement. We just ran across it. Yeah. Um, but I have to, sh- I have to get it's credit. It's great. Where Everybody needs do. to know. Yeah, because yeah. like yeah. basically, I check it out, and where, where's the first place I go? Horror movies. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, see what the horror movie selection is. Actually, I was wanting to watch a movie. I'm, like, I'm gonna pick something real fast and watch it. This guy. I click on it, and I'm like, okay, start scrolling and scrolling. And scrolling. And scrolling. And I'm not even exaggerating, guys. Five minutes straight of me. I'm like, I got to fucking tell JT and Bree yeah, about this yeah. shit. So I sent them a group. T- we are, we're in a group text message. I sent them a message. I'm like, dude, you guys got to fucking check this out. You're not going to believe the damn the selection they have. Yeah. And it's got a. I didn't even finish scrolling. I still I don't haven't even, finished. I don't even know how many movies are on there. I got into the 600s, and it was still. I, horror film. Yeah, just, that's just horror. horror. Just horror. It has now, they doc- have other movies and stuff, but I was comics, just in the everything. horror section and made it into the 600s. For free. It's a free yeah. app. For free, by the way. It's a free app. I mean, one yeah. thing I noticed when I uh, ended up downloading it to my phone, you do get the commercials in between. Yeah. But yeah. it's totally worth right. it. I mean, all those But it's not like But it's not yeah. like a five minutes. It's no. like a, right. a minute of commercials. Yeah, yeah it's it. like no. watching YouTube. I mean, yes. you know, how they have the little ads or whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah, not bad at all. And there's some really obscure shit on there, too, along with some great movies. Like, we ran across Santa Slay on there. Yeah. Santa Slay. Great movie, great movie. Freaking uh, uh, Bad Moon. Uh, Trailer Park I saw War. Pet Cemetery on there. Not the new one, one but and the old two. one. Uh, one and two's on there. Yeah. Yep. I mean, uh, there's, the some, there's some really good movies, and then there's some really B-rated. obscure, you know, yeah. which I love those B-rated oh, movies. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know? There's a t- Rumpelstiltskin. Yes. Dude, mm-hmm. come on. When's yeah. the last time you've seen that anywhere I, to rent? I haven't anything. seen that since the 80s. For probably. free. For free? Yeah, For guys. Free. Definitely, if you're... Um, at, it's funny that we're talking about this, too, because um, I was on a... Someone posted on one of the horror pages I'm on, where do you guys find your horror movies at or your horror at? Because, like, I'm going to get rid of Netflix and other shit. And I mm. I look on there, Tubi, Tubi. I, everybody's like, yeah. Tubi. I'm like, oh, shit, yeah, man. Yeah. And I'm like, definitely check it out because the horror selection is huge on this. Yeah. yeah. It's huge. It's definitely worth you guys. Do you see do you see uh, our message from Devin the other day about what uh what uh Famous haunted at the bar, bars. Yeah, uh, Devin. And I, I Devin. was like, oh, you know, I was just kind of throwing out a guess. Yeah. And the more I looked at it, I was like, oh, no, I know where that's at. <laughs> San Leo Town, man. Yeah. Devin, yeah, she's my older sister. They're in Colorado. Right that's now. awesome. And they actually got to go to the Stanley Hotel again. So that's thanks, Devin. Cool. You're awesome. Thank you, girl. Cool. Thank you, girl. Be careful out there. Yes. At least you're not in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Which would be scarier. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, guys, uh, that's the episode. I uh, want to give a I'm shout out. I'm not done out. talking here. Shut your mouth. <laughs> I want to give a shout out shit to, talk about. to our Facebook fam. Oh my god! You guys rock, man. It's seriously. Fuck. We're at seven hundred hey, already. Hey, we got to give it up for Bree though. <laughs> Bree has been on top of that shit, man. Yeah, it's uh, she's it's pushing us out there. She's kicking ass and taking names, literally, and putting them into our Facebook page. I think yeah. we've uh, all been <laughs> racking. Yeah. But uh, yeah, man, you guys have been awesome. Um, uh, all of our followers on all of our channels. Um, yeah. I mean. Yeah. From Anchor and everything out there, iTunes, everybody's just been blowing it up. Anchor has exploded here recently. Yeah, and I mean, we really appreciate the love, guys. We, we're we working hard. <laughs> you know you're doing something right when you get a message. Check this out, guys. When you get a message from Jason Hawes from, from Ghost, Ghost Hunters. Hunters. And Ghost Nation. Dude. Uh, yeah. It's crazy. We did it. Our video for. That was so weird. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Our video from Ghost Nation uh, has been, bl- has blown up. It's almost at 2,000 views. Yeah. Um, Which is huge for us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, And our poultry guys, I don't know if you guys noticed that, but it's slowly been fucking, it's like 500 now. Wow. Nice. Um, but anyway, yeah, so JT's like blowing my phone up. My phone's off because I'm charging it. <laughs> so I'm texting <laughs> his wife. I'm like, and he's like, dude, right, tell you got to have call him call me. me. And I'm like, what the fuck's going on? I better call him. So I get a hold of him. He's like, dude, you ain't going to believe this. I'm like, what's up? He's like, Jason Hawes commented on our stuff. I'm like, no, fuck it. Because, dude, 
as you guys man, know, this is a guy we've watched on TV for years. Huge Celebrity, influence, man, for sure. Huge influence of to yeah. me, like somebody I look up to. I never met the guy, but I look up to him and Grant, all the guys off of and well, and girls. you have to look up to him. Oh yeah, <laughs> is that short joke, asshole? <laughs> You're like a centimeter taller Poor than I am. Little guy. <laughs> yeah, probably. Probably. But uh, I mean, come on, guys. <clears throat> yeah, it, it was just really cool. And really then cool. we got to be. Doing I would love right? to have a conversation yeah. with that guy. Well, and then mm. like yeah, for sure. We know we yeah. we holler back at him, you know, and you know. I, I ain't no holler back girl. Yeah, and then I get it, and then I get it up like a day later yeah, or two days up. later. It's like six o'clock <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> I'm already up at six o'clock in the morning. If you know what I mean. Uh, um, it's the morning. <laughs> but. Uh, I, um, I get up like I always do, and I go into the kitchen, start making my wife's coffee, and this and that. And I hear yeah, a bitch. Ding, little freaking buzz, buzz goes on my phone. I look, it's Jason Hawes at six in the morning. How you doing? I'm like, what the fuck? And then you know, he just gave us some kind words, and I'm like, dude, it's it's crazy. It's crazy that he it, took time out of his because this guy is busy as hell. He's got a new TV show. He's got a podcast that's just absolutely yeah. Called uh, right you now. guys definitely should check that out. It's um, called uh, Beyond Reality Radio. Yeah, it's uh, an actual radio channel, but they should put it out as a podcast. It's really great. Uh, JV Johnson is his co-host, and he's on there a lot now because Jason's busy as hell. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just, it's super cool because I mean it's a guy that we freaking yeah it's it's just, it's crazy it's it's awesome actually it, it, it was really cool like you know that he took time out of his day to watch our video our little tiny video that yeah you know, and you guys got to check out the new really ghost cool. hunters it's ghost hunter great. oh the new the new ghost hunter series is awesome dude yeah awesome and ghost nation which is going to be Jason Hawes is yeah that uh, comes out October nineteenth. Ninth, like I think. Ninth? Or I know there's seventh nine or nine. I, I'm not sure. But it's, it's around the beginning of October is when it's coming out. But man, um, they're bo- the new Ghost Hunter is awesome. Ghost Nation is going to be fucking great. Yeah. Um, yeah, I cannot wait. You guys got to give them a shout out. But I don't know. I don't think Bree's seen it yet. But I, I haven't you, seen it yet. Yeah. I know you've seen it. The last episode that he did. Yes. So check this out. Grant just put this thing up on Facebook, a Facebook lo- uh, thing. Mm-hmm. And um, this is how why I love the show, guys. One of the fans. Sent him a picture. You know that face that was in the mirror uh-huh. or in the window? Yeah. Is this the video that you put on our yes. Facebook page? Yes. Yeah. This is cool, guys. Check so, this out. So there's, um, this is how deep they do shit. There's a, if you haven't seen it, check it out because you got to. But anyway, there's a picture of this house, right? And in the window is this creepy looking old face, right? Yeah. Well, they investigate it, and they're like, dude, there's no way someone can get to this. Yeah, it, it was the only way to get to this window was to crawl through a tiny door that my fat ass wouldn't fit through, <laughs> crawl through a, a freaking old, dank attic, and this window, like, you could even be in the attic and not be able to see this window. It was, like, off to the side, and you had to crawl underneath some stuff to be able to get up to this. It's basically this window is in a dormer, and if you don't know what a dormer is, a dormer is, like, when you look at somebody's house and you see the... Fake the, windows. The, yeah, the window that comes windows. out. You know, it's got, like, a little extra roof over the top of yeah, it. Yeah, the angle of the face, the, the the position of the face. You you would, yeah. Realistically, you wouldn't be able to have somebody so, standing there because there's walls. Right. Yeah, exactly. So, so check this out. That picture, someone noticed that that looks awful lot like there's a picture been going around. Of, it's like a meme look, or something. If you look down, the ste- it's like a black and white, and you're looking down the steps of the basement, and there's a face out there like this. Okay. You've probably seen it on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Someone, that guy, had placed that image in that window. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Clip and paste. See, wow. and Grant, he, Grant even said, he's like, guys, over the, he's like, over the years, people have tried to, to get us on a lot of things. Right. He's like, yeah, we are. So he's like, this is why we do this show. Right. He's like, now, don't get me wrong. We got a lot of great evidence from yeah. the house. Oh, there yeah. are a lot of yeah. great things that happened in the house. He's like, but that debunked. Yeah. And that's, you know, he's put it out there. Yeah. That's pretty cool. You know what I mean? Dude, that house was gorgeous, so man. Oh, but yeah, God. guys, definitely check them out. <clears throat> but I want to get back to you guys. Thanks so much for your fucking support, guys. Yeah, you guys are um, amazing. We're pushing a lot of great things coming. We're just trucking along like we want to. We're on a good course. We're further than we thought we'd be. We got a lot of stuff planned, a lot of good things coming. Um, yeah, but we got you, some cool stuff coming up. Yes. Oh, I'm totally yes. excited. And you guys are just If they just can just get ass. me to shut up for a while so they can talk. Yeah. Yeah. 
Good luck. <laughs> Never gonna no, happen. No, dude, we love you. We love you. Oh, of course. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, you guys are awesome, man. I mean, your your Facebook's been blowing up. All of our other stuff's blowing up, and you guys just keep supporting us, and we're loving it. Keep telling everybody about us. Um, send us some damn info. Yeah. Send us something you guys want to hear about, and we'll do it. Send something you guys want to talk well, about. Even if you don't want to send info, interact with us. Yeah. I mean, we'll talk to you. Oh yeah, I mean, you guys. We- Get on there, start you a know, conversation on our Facebook page. I'm one gonna, of us is always on Facebook. Yeah. I mean, do we have Messenger on our page? Can we message people? Yeah, we get private messages. Yeah, we got. I message. mean, if you want a private message, just do yeah, it. just send us a private you know, message. Um, we'll talk to you. Yeah, if anything, I mean, even if you're just having a bad day and you need somebody to talk to, just hit us up. Yeah. That's what this horror fam is about, guys. For sure. Um, but definitely send us some uh, suggestions or some stories. You know, hit us up at the Horror Chronicles Podcast at gmail dot com, and send us some of your uh, send us some of your stories, and we'll tell them for you. Or we'll get your ass on here and you tell it your yeah. damn self. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, but or our horror shorts. If you guys got some movie suggestions, send them to us. Which are along with your name. We'll check them like. out. If we haven't seen yeah. them, we'll check them out. And not only that, but we'll put you on our horror shorts as a suggestion, and we'll put your name out there too. Um, a lot of good stuff coming, guys. We just really appreciate all your support. We work hard, you know. JT works a lot harder than most of yes. us, but uh, no. yes. No. But anyway, we're working hard. We got a lot of great stuff coming. Just keep on with us. This past week was kind of fucked up. Yeah. yeah. But we got it, guys. We love you guys very much. Thanks for support. Thanks for being a part of this horror fam. And as always, until next time, keep, keep it, it creepy. creepy. Yeah. yeah.